So you need a road case and a flight case, and you're also really into Canadians, then you might like the Nanook 935. Let's check this thing out. What's up everybody, I'm the Derek Frank, and today I'm gonna be showing you the Nanook 935. This case is going to be the equivalent of something like the Pelican 1510 or the 1535, which is a case that I've been using for years. So I'm gonna show you some of the differences and similarities and see how this case stacks up to that. I wanna thank my friends at Nanook for sending me this case to test out and do a review on. Even though they sent me this at no charge, this is a 100% unbiased opinion, these are my real opinions and they're not affected by them sending me the case. So right off the bat, there's a few major differences with this case just on the outside. And we're gonna go through those right now. So first of all, the handles are pretty similar, but where it changes is the latches. These latches are like kind of like a two-stage latch. So when you actually have to pull the button down and lift up, and then when you do that, you can even lock them down in place. It's a really great feature. I think that this actually helps the design and it gives it another pro that this case has versus some of the competitors. Now feeling the latches, I could see where maybe they wouldn't be as strong, but I really doubt that they're going to have any problems since they do feel really sturdy. One of the biggest things that I liked about this case versus some of their competitors is how smooth the top was. I understand why they put those ridges across the top for the other brands. It makes them stronger, but that also kind of eliminates the cleanliness of it and the ability to stack it, which is what Nanook really takes pride in. I love that this case has a really nice smooth looking top to it. You can either customize it with stickers like all musicians are gonna do, or you can paint it, or you can have skins made for it. There's a lot of different options, but since it's smooth, it's going to hold on to those a little bit better and it just looks nice and clean. So moving on the outside, even though the front handle is pretty much the same, the top handle is very different where it's got this really nice collapsing feature. So it actually lifts up and snaps back into place. That's really great so that it's not sliding around and flopping around when you've either got it in your bus, in your van, trailer, or if you're on an airplane, which is what I use these for the most. The next different feature versus the competitors is that this actually has a push button for the handle. I do like the fact that it has the nice push button and it's got a two-stage lock on here. It is a really sturdy design, but it's not the same as something like a Pelican. It's not that it's better or it's worse, it's just different. And for some people, that might be really great. I can definitely see where both of them have their pros and their cons. So I'm gonna say it's about a 50-50 between the two. It just kind of depends on what you like more. The other difference with the bottom is that you have this space in the middle, and Nanook says that this makes it easier to stack multiple cases. Now, for me, I don't necessarily care for the concave part of it. I can understand what it's for. I prefer it to be a little bit more flat on the bottom because that's just one more thing for it to catch on when you're traveling. Again, not a bad feature, just a different feature. This is the other part that is very different from all of the competitors, and that's the wheels. Nanook uses a rollerblade style wheel. So people will actually remove the stock Pelican wheels for a few reasons and change them to these rollerblade style. Reason number one is that the normal wheel on a Pelican case is really rugged. Now that's a good thing, but when you're rolling through airports, they're pretty loud. The other reason is that they don't move as well. These move really smooth, they're nice and quiet because they have the rubber base. For most people, that's going to be a huge plus. But for me, I actually prefer the more rugged wheels because I'm pulling them through a lot of venues. You never know if you're gonna be going through dirt or what kind of stage you're on or whatever the conditions are. So I really want the wheels to be really sturdy. I think these would hold up pretty well, but I don't think that they're going to hold up as well as the more rugged flat style plastic wheel. Now, would I turn down these wheels? Absolutely not. If you're pretty much just using this for fly dates and taking it on location with your photography or videography stuff, these wheels are gonna be really great and really convenient. Again, a lot of this stuff is preference. Now let's move on to some of the internal things that make this different. So when we open up this case, we're gonna start seeing even more of the differences. 
So the first thing is the safety loops right here. The competitor's loops are more of like a squared off thing. It's no frills, they're just tough. These have a recessed grommet in there. They look really nice and clean and they work with all of the locks that I've tested them on that are TSA approved. Once you open this, you're gonna notice that there's a lip around this. So when you close it, it has a seal, just like the Pelican cases, but it also wraps around. That's a really great feature because it just gives you that extra layer of security for water or for moisture and things like that that aren't going to get in to all of your equipment that you're trying to keep safe, hence why having this case. That being said, I've never once had an issue with any of my cases getting any moisture or water in them, but I really do like that fold over lip on this case because it just looks cleaner and it feels a little bit better. Now with the lip around this case comes a drawback. I used some stock foam that I already had and I even bought some more on Amazon because I like to customize my own foam inserts, but I found that they didn't fit very well in here. Now it wasn't that big of a deal. I was able to smush them down a little bit, but losing that much space when you don't have a lot of space to begin with matters. I know why Nanook actually did this though, because in their version, they actually have these post mounts. These are for the different Nanook style dividers. Now I didn't have them send that because I usually just use foam or the Trek pack because I'm already used to it. But I can tell like with the packs that they come with with Nanook, it's a really cool feature because you can secure them a little bit more and you don't have to worry about your stuff flying around in there. But I've also never had a problem with anything moving around too much in the case. So once I got this and I checked it out, it looked really good, I started to make some foam for it. So on my first layer of foam, much like the Pelican cases, you have the wheels over here that have a little bit of an indentation you have to cut around, and then over here you have a little spot for the handles that you also have to cut around. Then I did my top piece. Now I make my own foam, and once I get it all plucked, I actually seal it with Plasti Dip, and that's for a whole nother video, that's not for this. But once I got it in there, you can kind of tell it pushes a little bit on the edges just because the size being a little bit different, but it does still feel really nice and tight. Then once you close it up, it feels great. It locks really well, and nothing moves around. So. A plus to Nanook for that. Nanook also makes a lot of their own accessories for these. They make their own inserts, their own foam, as well as their own lid organizers. Even though I don't have one of their lid organizers, I'll probably end up getting one because they look really nice and they've got some great reviews. So hopefully I'll get to check one of those out soon. All right, now let's go over some of the pros and the cons of this case. Starting on the outside, handles are great. I really love the latches. I think they're a great two-stage latch. Gives you a lot of security, and I like that they lock into place when they're open as well. The top handle, having that two-stage spring action so you don't have it flopping around is a really great touch. I'm pretty indifferent on the top handle. I think it's a good handle, but I'm neither pro nor con on that one. Another pro or con would be the wheels. These are great for some situations, but not for every situation. I think that they're a really good wheel, and I like how quiet they are, but I don't think they're as rugged as some of the other options. And a con for the outside is the bottom. I wish that this was flat, and that this piece just went all the way across. Every Nanook case also comes with its own automatic pressure valve. That's pretty standard across most case companies. There are some cheaper cases out there, like the Harbor Freights, that have a pressure valve, but it's a manual one. That's a big deal breaker for me, having a manual pressure valve. I want that on there, so uh, plus for that one. Now some pros and cons for the inside of the case. Now this is still technically the outside of the case, but affects the inside, and that is the rollover lip on there. That's a major plus. Make sure it's extra clean, it keeps your stuff really safe, and it seals it that much more. A con is that it's just a little bit smaller on the inside because of their securing system. Now that may be a pro if you're using their foam and their different dividers and organizers, but for me, I'm using a very generic foam and then I make my own customization to that. So just having that little bit smaller isn't my favorite thing. Other than that, on the inside, it seems 
pretty much the same. So what are my overall thoughts on the Nanook 935? I would definitely buy the Nanook 935. It's a little bit cheaper than the Pelican and there are some trade-offs when you have that. The Pelican cases are made in America. These are made in Canada, which is also great. We love our friends to the north. Um, both brands come with a lifetime warranty. The only other difference I can really see between this case and some of the other brands is the actual material. They all use a similar plastic type of material, but Nanooks feels a little bit different. And because of the way they make their cases, they're actually heavier. Now with the 935, the weight isn't really a problem for me. But when you get into a bigger size case, which I'm going to be doing on my next video, that's going to come into play a lot. But we'll talk about that next time. As always, if you have any questions, make sure you shoot them in the comments below. And if you're interested in buying any of these Nanook cases, I've got links in the descriptions where you can get them and help out my channel just a little bit. Thank you guys and have a good one.